Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So let's talk about all the really cool things that I was able to make in September. I, looking back, feel like I had a really great month. Everything that I made was a success. There were no sewing fails and I am just really proud of the garments that I created in September. So a lot of them you have seen already. I've also been very on top of um, taking the modeling videos and reviewing the patterns and all of that kind of stuff. So a lot of these you've already seen before, but this will be kind of like a recap and a reminder. And at the end, there is a dress that you guys know nothing about. Um, so I haven't been able to film it because I just finished sewing it a couple of days ago. Uh, so stay tuned to the end for that. But um, the first one that I want to talk about is my sew along dress. So I did a sew along for National Sewing Month, which is September. And I chose this pattern from McCall 7991. Super cute. I chose it because it was a learn to sew for fun dress. And we did the sew along earlier this year with another one of their learn to sew patterns that was a woven. So I thought that it would be fun to do one that is also a knit pattern. So now you have a very beginner friendly woven and a beginner friendly knit. Uh, that you can sew along with me at any time you want. Even if you didn't participate in a sew along this month, these videos live forever and ever. Um, so you can go back and recreate this anytime you want. So I ended up making the bodice of this view, I think C, and then I made the fuller skirt of this view A. And I really love how she turned out. She's super comfortable, um, super fun fact. Uh, when I posted a teaser for this on Instagram, the in-house designer for McCall's, Jackie Polakoff, commented to say that she was super close to picking this fabric for the um, sample that was going to be photographed. So instead of this camo, she said she almost, almost picked this. And so that made me feel like, oh, wow, well, not only did I pick a like substrate that the designer had in mind, but also feeling very kind of like on trend with the paisley and the um, emerald green color. I don't know. It was just a lot of vindication in one little comment, which was super fun. Um, this fabric came from Joanne. I have also heard from Joanne's social media team that they are going to share my Instagram post to their Instagram page. So that's really exciting and a lot of fun. My hair is falling completely. Nope. <laughs> um, anyway, so I cannot wait for that. Hopefully I will get a lot of new followers and new people to the channel. So it's a really exciting moment. Um, but yeah, so the sew along dress, love it. I have already worn this a gajillion times. I will make more of them for sure. In fact, I have, yeah, I have a bunch of knit fabrics that I think would work really well for this. So I just have to see how much of it I have because the the dolman sleeve bodice and the full skirt takes about three yards of fabric. So it is kind of a lot. Um, but I think if you made the version that has just like the regular sleeve and the full skirt, you could get away with probably two yards. So I've got to play around with my yardage and see what I've got for my next one. All right, so there's that. And then I made, um, so Stylemaker Fabrics launched their fall collection. They do it every fall and spring on the first day of that season. They start a, a really big uh, style tour with a bunch of bloggers and a couple of vloggers. So um, for mine, I decided to make a print mixing dress. I used McCall's 7894. And you can see they actually sort of did an illustration highlighting how you could use the pattern for pattern mixing. 
your fabrics. And I took this, that you can see they only use three, and I took this and kind of just ran with it. Um, I ended up using four fabrics, and you can see I made the bodice two different ones, the sleeves two different ones, even the back has two different pieces, and then the skirt is three different ones as well. So this was a, a beast, an absolute beast to cut out, but once you did that, everything else came together really, really easily. The sewing part of it was actually a breeze, but wrapping your head around which pieces from which fabric and making sure you had mirror images of everything and just not screwing that up <laughs> was like uh, immense concentration and focus had to go into that. But once you got through that part, then it was super, super easy. And I really love how it turned out. It's actually a very comfortable dress. I wasn't super convinced that this silhouette was going to be great on me. It has an empire waist and kind of a slimmer skirt. I ended up having to cut a much bigger size than what I normally cut for the skirt. I don't know if that's because this one runs small or if the ease is off or something. I'm not sure, but I ended up Normally I can cut a straight 14 for a skirt that appears to be somewhat A-line, but this one I actually had to cut, I think a 22. So I think it went, or 20, 14, 18, 20, bust waist hip. Um, so that also made it a little bit complicated because I was trying to blend between three different sizes. And so it got a little complicated, but if you can make a straight size, and eliminate all of that, it will be much easier. But I wasn't, like I said, super convinced that this was gonna be very flattering, but I actually really like it and I find it to be very comfortable. You know, the Rayon Chalet that I used for it, I'm pretty sure this is Rayon Chalet, maybe Poplin, um, uh, is kind of a lightweight fabric, you know? And so you don't want it like hugging your body, you know, that would be, clingy and weird. So um, I was just really happy with how the fit turned out and how comfortable it is to wear, even though it's a slimmer fitting skirt. And to go with that, I made an emerald green stretch suede moto jacket. And to make this, I used the beloved B6169 from Lizette. A ton of people have made this and they all raved about it. So for as much work as I put into the dress, I knew that I could just cut this out and sew it and it was gonna be great. And it really is. I actually love it. And I, you know, the dress has so many colors in it. When we were picking out something for the jacket, you know, I could have done fuchsia. I could have done a blue color. And we went with the Nate, or the emerald that matches these leaves exactly. And I am so happy that we did that because I honestly believe that emerald green is going to be the new navy. I would be shocked if emerald green were not the Pantone color of the year for 2020. It is starting to pop up everywhere. You can even see that my sew along dress is also emerald green and I'm just seeing it pop up in ready to wear and on the runways everywhere. Uh, emerald green is going to be where it's at. So I'm happy that I'm like ahead of the curve and I already have a green jacket to wear. So this one was super fun. Having a moto jacket, I don't have one, you know, that zips up like asymmetrically asymmetrically, I guess that's the word, like this one does, you know, like a true moto jacket. I don't have anything like that. All my jackets either zip up the center front or button. Um, so I'm really glad to be able to add this to my wardrobe finally. And yes, there will definitely be more. I want to make a casual one out of like sweatshirt fleece. And I just have a lot of really fun ideas for this little pattern here. So I was excited to go ahead and, and try it out. Okay, now what you've all been waiting for, the brand new pattern that you have yet to see. This is McCall's 7889. And I heard a lot of really weird things about this online. A lot of people said that it ran super big. 
but I did my little trick with the measuring and comparing the finished garment measurements to mine and adding in the ease and all of that like I've taught you guys a thousand times with all of my sew alongs and I didn't find it to be super big so I'm in the minority when I say that I think this pattern fits really well right out of the envelope. I don't know maybe I'm just more accurate when it comes to picking a size I, I don't know but um I decided to take a nod from this little gingham one here and do my own gingham version but not just any gingham version I ended up using three different sizes of gingham ah! <laughs> and I'm obsessed I love it so much so these are black and white gingham cottons that I got from Stylemaker Fabrics like seriously three years ago maybe maybe longer and we've got the one inch the quarter inch and the one eighth of an inch ginghams and she's a button front you can tell I don't have the buttons on yet another reason why I haven't modeled her but and then you have all the little pleats that are sewn in to create like a cinched waist they're also in the back so you can see how it's kind of like pulling in the waist there. And then I also made a sash out of the quarter inch gingham. And the band is also the quarter inch gingham. So this one is really, really good. I'm so excited to model this and show it to you guys. It was a bit of a beast again to cut out simply because I wanted all of these to be on the bias. I wanted the gingham for the shoulders, for the center front band and for the bottom band to all be on the bias so there wasn't like a whole lot of really weird wanting to match up -ness, you know that it looked intentional that none of the lines exactly matched up um what else to say about this one i don't know i have i guess i have a lot to say that i will put in the video i don't want to give it away too too much but she's really cute. I'm very happy with the black and white choice. I don't make a lot of black and white stuff, black or white. Um, a lot of my stuff has a ton of color in it. So this will be a nice sort of calm day. It's also kind of very Halloween. So it's kind of appropriate for October, but I'm gonna go get some of those gunmetal colored snaps and it's gonna be a snap front. I was thinking like, this is a little bit country western or at least a nod to country western so i think the snaps would kind of just maybe hint to that a little bit more than just regular shirt buttons you know so i love mccall's 7889 and i'm sorry for all of you that have made it and thought it was too big um i'll show you in the video i think it fits really well so i'm really excited for it i do want to make other versions of this especially um this version here out of like a lightweight rayon chalet-esque type fabric i think that would be super super cute so anyways yeah so those are all the things that i made in september i hope that you like them as much as i do and you're inspired to try some of these patterns or find some of these fabrics i have a ton of information as always in the description box so be sure to check down there before asking any questions in the comments section it might already be answered and if it's not then yes please ask anything you need to know in the comments section and i will get back to you through there but that is going to do it for me today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye